Um, so our project is a wireless um, sign language translator. So the way it's done is it has a power glove which contains nine flex sensors, four contact sensors, and two accelerometers. All of these sensors feed into the comparator circuits which digitize the analog signals and feed it into the microcontroller. The microcontroller then analyzes what letter is being signed and then transmitted through the radio transceiver attached at the end. The transceiver's uh, transmission is uh, received at the base station uh, through a transceiver here as well and gets fed into the microcontroller here. The microcontroller here uh, displays the letter that's being signed on the LCD screen attached to it and then it also synthesizes the uh, text to speech and outputs it through the speakers next to it. After that, through the serial port, um, it sends the letter and the information from the glove to the computer where MATLAB analyzes the data, saves it to a file, and then Java uses the file to figure out what letter is being signed so you can play a game which is similar to a letter recognition game so that you've signed the letters before they fall to the bottom. Okay, so do you want to make some letters here? So, sure. I mean, the game started. You okay. So. So as you can see, as he signs the letters off, the letters disappear off the screen. The ones that he misses um, um, add on to the misses on the board. So currently, he's got six points. Joe, you can do this, man. Wait. Never mind. You got it. And. <laughs> You're doing a scene. No, mm. it's still reversed. Can you bury the speaker a little bit? Other speaker, I think. Mm. Hey, you got it again. Good job. He's got 11 mm. points so far. That's pretty good. So as you can see, K and P have the same flexes. The only difference is the accelerometer detects when your hand is pointing downwards and upwards, distinguishing between the two letters. And uh, the entire transmitter is meant to be portable, so the uh, the detection unit is powered off a battery, and the base station is also powered off a battery. Um, the speakers right now that we're using do need power, but there are portable speakers that are battery powered, so it could be. Good job. Nice work. Try doing N. Good job. Nice. None of us can sign as fast as he can by the end of this. Okay, so so let me look at the sensors now again one more time. Open up your hand and turn turn over like uh, so I can see. Rotate. So the 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 copper strips are the contact sensors between each finger. And then the flex sensors are stitched onto the back here. Right. And the accelerometers are sitting here. It's an impressive piece of work. So this is three people in five weeks to build the, the bionic arm. Yeah. yeah. Very cool.